Hi, this is Mario Harrow, and I wanted to show you how I digitally get music onto my iPad in order to use it in place of paper scores. So there's a couple of scanner apps that you can use that utilize the iPad's camera. One that I use is JotNot Pro here. And if I tap on that, and at the bottom of JotNot Pro, you should see a button that says scan. And when I tap on that scan, it'll activate the camera. And if I go over here, I have Chopin Nocturne of a score that I own here. It's always good to tap onto the music so that it, the camera actually does the autofocus and auto exposure adjust. And try to line it up as best as you can, as flat as you can, but you can make adjustments later on. I'll tap the button to take the picture of the score. And it estimates where the score is. Didn't do a very good job on this one, but what you could do is you could tap and drag the corners of it to where you want the score to actually be scanned here. So I'm going to drag it over here. Now, unfortunately, there's a little bit of a bend there, but it does its best job to adjust it to what you can do here. And ideally, it would be great to have a flat score to work with, but that's probably about as good as I'm going to get here. So I'm going to go on there. I'm going to tap on process. And then it comes up with this in black and white because that's pretty much all that you need here. And you can adjust the settings to whatever you need as far as the shading is concerned here. So let's say I want the lines to be a little bit more refined here. I can get a little bit darker if I want. But then I start seeing some uh, a little bit through the paper if I need to. And then if I go over here to the white, then I don't see the lines quite as defined. This is my favorite one here, the uh, second to last one here. That usually does the trick for me, but of course it all depends on the lighting. As you can see, there's a little bit of a bend on the bottom measure, but I think it's pretty clear enough uh, to what I need here. So I can go ahead and tap save. And then that saves the document here. And then when I'm in that, I can edit it by renaming the file and going in and saying this is Nocturne and then I can just say return or I'm sorry done and if I want to add pages onto that document I just go on and I scan I tap on scan again and I go on to the second page I can set up the second page here and again tap on it to focus as best as you can and try to get it as flat. Sorry, I'm not really that great of a cameraman with the iPad. But I tap and hold it still to take the picture of it within the app. It tries its best to find the borders and then you fine tune it by dragging the corners as best as you can. Again, have some issues with the corner of the book. But I can guesstimate there and I go ahead and tap process. And there we go again, I have the second page. And then I can make that a little bit more refined as far as the lines are concerned. And then I tap on save again. And now I have two pages of it. And I can continue on with the third and fourth pages throughout this process as far as that's concerned. All right. Now how do you get that into your uh, music readers? I like to use the app Fourscore. So what I do is I have Fourscore already loaded onto this iPad. I tap on the share button on the bottom right hand corner and then there's various op options that you have here but if you just want to save it onto your iPad you just tap open in and then there's all the different apps that I can open this into. I'm going to choose open in Fourscore and then it opens up Fourscore automatically like this and what I could do is I can just tap left and right or if you have an a wireless foot pedal like the air turn you can also use that to change now if you want to crop it you just tap on it once go onto the top right toolbox and tap on crop and what it does it automatically crops it to what it thinks is the largest size that it can without cutting anything of any artifacts on it there but you can pinch and zoom to whatever you feel is comfortable for you like there okay and then I can do the same thing on the second page by going there. And I just use, again, two fingers to just adjust it to whatever is appropriate for me. I tap on crop.
and there we go. Now I have two scores around. Just to let you know, you could always rearrange the score to whatever you want here on edit the score. I tap on rearrange. I could always put page two first or page one first. I could even delete a page like that there, but I think I'm going to keep that and do not save there. Okay. So that's how I use the uh, JotNot Pro and Fourscore to get uh, scores onto the iPad. It really is that simple. Uh, you can always message me on Facebook if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.